recently made a video about the importance of stopping Iran immediately with military action since it's clear that sanctions and every other effort to stop Iran will not work. And Iran has made it very clear they intend to use nuclear weapons. When Ahmadinejad says that he, Israel will disappear in a firestorm, what do you think that means? I've gotten ridiculous comments accusing me of being a warmonger, of saying that Israel has all these nuclear weapons, what about them? That Iran has been a peaceful, loving nation and would never do anything wrong. I mean, just garbage. Now, whether or not Israel has nuclear weapons, they pledge not to use them first, and uh, they have not, despite great provocation by their enemies. Iran has made it very clear it intends to destroy Israel and the West, and so if they get nuclear bombs, you don't think they're going to try? They've got to be stopped. Now, there is an interesting educational vehicle, which I think can educate a lot of people to the dangers, and that's a movie called the, uh, Iranium, I-R-A-N-I-U-M. And it's actually available now on DVD for 1995. You can purchase it. So I'm going to put the spot of uh, where to find it on uh, the comments about this video so you can go to it. And there you'll see a clip, and then at the bottom will say, uh, own your own DVD or buy your own DVD. You click on that. You can order it for $19.95. You can also get it for free if you go to and contact Kufi for your church or synagogue, cufi.org. Uh, Christians United for Israel has spent thousands of dollars to procure the rights to uh, make available copies of uh, the uranium to churches in, uh, that are affiliated with Kufi. Contact your pastor. If you're a pastor, contact Kufi and get a copy. It comes in a whole package with a curriculum, everything you need to know to show it. It'll, it's a 60-minute video made this year in 2011, and it goes a long way to talking about the Iranian nuclear program and how it, it uh, relates to a strategic threat to the West, to our survival. Now, one final word to those uh, warmongers out there, pro-Iranians, who want to do harm to Israel and the West, I'd be very careful. As John Hagee has repeatedly pointed out, you think about those people that have threatened uh, Israel in the past. Think about Pharaoh, who ended up as fish food on the bottom of the sea, as uh, the Bible says, as John Hagee quotes. And you think about the story of Haman and Ahasuerosh. Now, Haman threatened the Jewish people in the book of Esther, and he and his ten sons were hung on the gallows that were meant for Mordechai and the Jews. And so you've got to be very careful and think about all those cultures and nations that have tried to stomp out the Jewish people, and they are gone from history. And so I'd be very careful trying to threaten Israel. But in any case, uh, I would definitely show uranium, uh, find it for your church, publicize it as a very critical educational vehicle for explaining the dangers of the Iranian nuclear program. It is ridiculous that for a nation that's the head of OPEC that produces all that oil to say they need it for peaceful purposes. It's quite clear to everybody who's unbiased they intend it for military purposes. It'll be too late once they send, start sending missiles. Now, other people commented on my video that Iran is not suicidal. They're not stupid. They wouldn't do that. Yes, they would. It's not because they're stupid but it's because of religious fanaticism. You, if, you don't, if you don't believe it, you don't know anything about Islam and that particular brand of Islam, which believes that you need this kind of cataclysm to bring forth the hidden Imam, the 12th hidden Imam, which is their messianic figure. And so Ahmadinejad is willing to lose 30, 40 million Iranians in a nuclear exchange uh, because he believes that it'll serve the religious purposes and it would wipe out, he believes, Israel and the West. Uh, unless you think they'll have the capability to it, they're getting ever closer, and their missiles can now reach Europe, and pretty soon we'll be able to reach the United States. So this is something that has to be taken care of now. But for educational purposes, to educate as many people as possible, make sure they see the movie Uranium. Buy it on DVD and show it to your friends. Uh, show it at your churches. Show it as widely as possible. Shalom.